Hello, friends and adventurers, and welcome back to Sally Cat Plays Quest of Yipe 3. Once again, I've spent some time off recording, uh, grinding for gold and levels. I'm a bit disappointed, actually, that I haven't gotten a whole lot of stat increases with all of my leveling. I did go and buy a, a few stat increase items. But... Today, I am going to start taking advantage of the waterproof shoe spray. For one thing, it might make it a little bit easier to get across certain obstacles. Somewhere around here... Yes. It is now easier to go directly between Yipe and Quizalog across this patch of river. Only these two squares, though. So, with my much bigger wallet, I can now get Razor Boomerangs. Very cool. And I think I will buy a couple of dexterity drinks as well. Maybe I should be buying a few more recharge roasts. Whatever. When I'm offered easy fights, I usually take them. Helps me afford all the turkey dinners. But anyway, King Yipe did mention something about another potential cave being located to the north. Also, there's a chest here, and I still can't get it. Water ghosts can go across all of the water. I can only go across certain squares. Yeah, why can't I get you yet? Oh well. However, I can get through here. And lo and behold, another cave entrance. Of course, I'm going to search around the perimeter for other goodies, like this right here. I got another strength cracker, hooray! Well, it is my weakest stat. This corner, or that corner, right, let's start investigating the water cave. The water cave is, of course, full of water-themed enemies, like these wisps. Oops. Let's try that again, huh? There's some kind of trick to getting this. Let me in! Darn you. Anyway, the water cave has an interesting gimmick. There are these rafts that float around in the water. They usually follow predictable paths.
and allow me to access different areas of the map. They do feel a little bit slow sometimes. More dexterity. And it looks like- oh, hi. So it looks like I can't get to this area in the lower right directly. I'll need to go through another wisp over here and maybe back around. been neglecting my search for secret paths. Oh my, that's a bunch of you. some reason I read that as 19 instead of 197 and I got very worried for a second there. Now I can get the other chest! And an intelligence chip. Excellent. Ice cave crab. Okay then. Despite being an ice themed enemy, it still makes the water sound when it dies. I'm doing reasonably well in this dungeon so far. All that grinding paid off. And continues to pay off. Hello, what's this? Paracloak stallions. Beware, this lake has been known to have strange and random currents that leave adventurers stranded for days. Mm hmm. Man, I remember when two cloaked stallions could have uh, beat the crap out of me. How the turns have tabled. So, yes, this is a particularly annoying part of the game where to get all of the goodies, I just have to wait for the raft to. Float into a useful spot. Sometimes I have to wait for quite a while. Quite a while. Quite a long while. Oh, man. Finally. Okay then, so I could continue on with that. I think I'm going to just move onward for now. Also, they almost made sense in the fire cave. I have no idea why cloaked stallions are hanging out in the water cave.
If this is another random path ramp, it might take forever to get to the two doors here. Yeah, I don't feel like waiting on that right now. Oops. So back to Yipe we go for healing and stuff. The king has no insights because of course he doesn't. No thank you. Where there's a step space I can step on. Eventually, I will get this chest. Watch, it's probably going to contain something useless like a Scooby snack. Or yet another dexterity drink. Anyway, I mentioned secret passages and how I've neglected to search for them in every screen so far. Let's fix that. In fact, let me use a stink potion so I won't get interrupted quite so much. Roaming monsters will now stay away from me. Huzzah. Eh? You sense that this space seems different. It seems like there was once a wall here. Odd. Hello! Wasn't a secret passage I needed to search for, but a secret space step lover thing. Cool. You know, it's been ages since I found any goodies dropped in monster fights. I keep vaguely hoping for an armor or weapon drop. The terrible smell around me has faded away. You notice that the wall next to you could be pushed open. Unfortunately, you do not have enough strength to do so. Aw. Oh. I guess I need to uh, chow down on more strength cr crackers. And the game gives me dexterity drinks and, int and intelligence chips instead. Not that I really mind, but I will have to come back to this corner later. Oh right, those treasure chests in the corner. Got to wait for the raft. Now I can read them. That's a lot of you. Pretty sure there's no passages on the sides of this room. I'll, che I'll check them anyway. Nope, nothing.
man, at this point even the level ups just aren't that exciting anymore. It would be more exciting if they would give me any stat ups. I really meant to cast full heal there. Or did I? Yeah. Again, I will come back to you guys later. Probably splice that in somewhere and chop out a lot of endless waiting. More giant enemy crabs! Actually, it's not specified if they're giant or not. They could be regular sized crabs. Still enemies. Do I want to wait around for this raft? Haha! -ha. I've got a surface potion! Yay! Eventually, we will see what lies behind this door, but not right now. Oh, look, a water maze! Oh, I'm running quite low on spell points. I can't cast my full heals anymore. Let's go for the new enemy. Electric Eel. Oh no. Let me use my growing stock of recharge roasts. Well, that one's got a neat sound. And again, a room that doesn't seem to have any secret passages. Mm hmm. More intelligence. More eels. Do not want. Another stink potion. Hooray. Recharge roast. Good, good. And I do not feel like fighting off groups of three when I have eight spell points. However, I do recognize this bit. Attacking a merman! Getting soundly beaten by a merman! Leveling up from a merman! Ta-da! It's another healing spring! Okay, and this is absolutely nothing. I suppose I should take out this group, too. Just respawns. Only one of you.
Level 60. I'm moving up in the world quite fast. I think I'm actually getting sort of close to the end of this dungeon already. Interminable raft waiting aside. Yeah, that looks like a end of dungeon boss to me. And those are walls, not rafts. A soaked spike with almost 800 hit points. Eeyouch. Oof. I need to come back to you after a full heal. The merman I might be able to deal with a little better right now. even if there are two of them. Ow, stop that. You know what, I'm going invisible on you. Eat Razor Boomerang. Well, this adventure is full of useful, if not very exciting, things. But I am going to run back and heal up, and we'll see you guys in a moment. No, oh, it happened! It happened! I hear the faint cry of a young female. I found another princess! Health and spell points have been healed, which is useful because I did spend a few of them on crabs coming in here. What's this? The raft actually cooperates. That's amazing. That almost never happens. I did have to wait quite a while for the raft to come back up to this end of the room. But if you, viewers, do not have to deal with all of that. And now I get to hang out on this raft for ages, and that Venus man trap is moving on its island. Eventually I will get these chests. I'll report back in with what they've got in them. One eternity later. Da -da -da! Chest number two has a dexterity drink. And I'm stranded. Another eternity later. Chest number three has another dexterity drink. Dexterity is now my highest stat. I guess I am quite speedy. And instead of waiting for the raft to come back again, I am just going to cast Return to Surface. Yeah. Oh, and my gold pile has gotten quite large yet again. Maybe I should go see about getting a upgraded armor and or weapon. Well, no, not and. It would be or. Will you open for me this time? Come on. What good is that lucky rabbit's foot even doing me? Eh. Really, I usually get this chest by now. Fine. 
to Quizalog. Okay, so let's click math and no, I'm going to need some more gold before I can afford a frost sword or a yipe death blade. Well, I can take out mid-level enemies with ease now. And I can certainly afford a holy yipe armor. So I will. In fact, I think there is something I can get in Quizalog. taking out a few easy enemies for easy gold. Because, as I said, I need to afford all my turkey dinners. But at the miscellaneous item shop, I don't have a double horned helmet yet. Now I do. Double horned helmet adds a whopping four weapon class. Excellent. Really? Is there a trick to this, or do I just have to wait for it to randomly do the thing? Yes, spoilers. There's a thing that it does that allows me to get the chest. It is not currently singing. Let's go find that soaked sponge and take out my annoyance on it. Okay, back here. Not quite full spell points, but should be good enough. Soaked spike, not a sponge. Not a spongebob soak pants. Yeah, I don't know. Since it's a boss fight, should I do the rabbit replacement? I mean, the electric eel is going down pretty soon anyway. Gotcha! And got another rare stamp! Number five! Oh. Hello, princess. Full heal. Awesome. Scooby snack. Somewhat less impressive. Recharge roast. Pretty good. Three electric eels. Well, I did just get a full heal, so... Search for secret passages because I must. A message on the wall says a group of stones holds the entrance. Okay, entrance to what? Entrance to your grave. But no, that's not right. The Yipe Underworld entrance is in a grove of trees. Ooh, 
Ooh, spell point Slurpee. Yummy. I can't carry any more items. I think I can drop at least one of these surface, surface potions. Oh, it's not giving me another chance to reclaim the item? Darn it. It was probably a recharge roast or something anyway. Anyway, spell point Slurpees are cool because they are healing potions, but for your spell points. And I don't exactly feel like waiting for the rafts, so... Return to surface. Now, one thing I do want to check up on is I've got strength 30 now. Can I move this wall? Nope. I'll have to come back again. Maybe getting some more XP and levels will help. Or more gold for strength crackers. Sally want a strength cracker. Okay, we are out of here. Will you open? One of these days I'll get it. Anyway, hey King, we've got another stamp! <laughs> Hello again, Sally Cat the Magic Cat! You have returned to me five of my rare stamps. There is only one stamp left out there. I pray that it is not lost or too hard to find. If you can't find it, I don't think anyone can do it. The king looks hopefully at you. Well, that's great, but uh, we've searched all the caves that I know of. Maybe we'll have to look for an entrance in a group of stones next time. Until then, have a good one, everybody.